What? Where am I? Obviously, I've already landed on the island. Without breaking my neck, it must have been a very boring landing. I slept right through it. What time might it be? Hey! You! Hello, my little friend. What kind of a costume is this? Would you happen to be a clown? I'm a carny. In other words, a clown. What brings a clown like you to such a joyless place? I have to find Kalida. Kalida? Well, you have found her. W what do you mean? Are you Kalida? Me? <laughs> no, but I am a part of Kalida. I don't understand a word. You don't always have to understand everything to act in the right way. Do you really have to speak in riddles? I need help desperately. I have to prevent the world from collapsing. Doesn't everyone have to do that? One type of person does that by taking action, others by remaining inactive. Ah, uh, yes, uh, maybe. But I really have to do it. Not in a metaphorical, wishy-washy kind of way. I've got to get to Corona. To the King's Castle. No matter where you came from. You've taken the wrong turn. There is no road leading away from this island. So Shana sent me into a dead end? <sighs> I see you are full of concern, little man. I wish you good luck on your quest. It's dangerous to wake Kalida. Perhaps she will eventually help you to leave the island. But consider that you yourself are a part of her as long as you stay here. What? Hey! Wait! What do you mean by all of that? Hello? I've got a bad feeling that the search for Kalida could take quite a while. I like candlelight. It reminds me of my mother's grave. Good night, Mom. Clown? What are you doing here? My name is Sadwick. I have to prevent the world from collapsing. <laughs> yeah, very funny. But don't waste your time. You won't be able to boost my spirits anyway. Why are you so unhappy? Does the impending end of the world bother you too? The thought that all could soon be over? Oh no. That's something for others to ponder. I don't care if the end is coming. On this island, we're done for anyway. You see, there's nothing to do anymore. <sighs> I'm looking for Kalida. Who are you looking for? Kalida? <laughs> You're a real clown, aren't you? Why? What's strange about that? No, wait. Let me guess. Kalida is dead, or she never existed. <laughs> No. Kalida exists all right, but you'd better leave her alone. So where can I find Kalida? I already told you. Leave her alone. It'd be best if you didn't make any noise, so you don't wake her up. I'm not supposed to do what? Wake her up? So she's grumpy in the morning? So what? What's the big deal? Will she throw her pillows and complain about the coffee? Right. Or she could change into her full height, 
and lay destruction upon the village. Uh. Just believe me, you don't want to wake Kalida. Mm -hmm. I am beginning to wonder myself. Is there another way to leave this island? I'm afraid not, but relax. We have all we need here. Except company, of course. Uh, that's right. Uh, there aren't many people living on the island. And the lust for life? Uh, is somewhat limited. The freedom to go wherever you want? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. We might not have all we need, but we have everything else. Who's the boss here? That would be Reuben. He owns this island. You can find him in the house on the hilltop. On the hilltop? Yeah. Way up. Phew. Hey, hey, little man. I thought you wanted to save the world. You'll have to get off your backside for that, you know. Yes, yes. All right. No sweet without sweat, right? That's right. It will pay off in the end. <gasps> Payoff. It doesn't exactly look that way now. More like the opposite. Every step I take brings me nearer to the end. There's also the fear that my dream could come true. That the ground collapses and the world crumbles right under my feet. Um... At the hilltop, you said? Yeah. Way up. Great. Thanks. See you later. Yeah. Later. But... Please keep in mind, be nice and quiet. Like me, I bundle! Be quiet down there! <sighs> Can I borrow the letter? Of course. I'm not using it. Tall enough not to? Vertigo. Ah. What did it do it there? Does it work? The flint is sharp enough. If I'm unlucky, the whole bridge will collapse. But what have I got to lose? Just a life of misery and disgrace. Here we go. Great. The pole is broken and I have sore muscles. I wonder what I can come up with next. Fits perfectly. I should savor this moment of triumph. Oh heck. There it went. I have a hook and I have a rope. There has to be something I can accomplish. Ta-da! A rope. Attached to a hook, who would have thought? Oh dear. Would that work? I'm so bad at taking aim. Well, what have I got to lose? That... Wow! I... Spot! Did you see that? I... That... Ah... <sighs> A 
window! Are you ringing the bell again, you pathetic idiot? Come to my office at once before you wake Kalina! It matches. Are you blowing the foghorn again, you pathetic idiot? Come to my office at once before you wake Kalina! Great. The horn is unclogged. The mouse hole is dark and empty, very much like my future. I get the impression that cooing, come kitty 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 kitty, won't help. Mmm, yum, yum. What have we here? Yummy cheese. That's so crazy. I don't even know why I try. Do I really want to live in a world where actions like that are rewarded? Wow! I'm still alive! Yippee! Each more beautiful than the next. Breathtaking. I take just one. Nobody would be able to tell, considering the number. Wow, my own pearl. And it belongs just to me. It, it it's the most valuable thing I ever owned.
Uh oh. What's that? That that can't be true. A uh, pearl is missing. Somebody has messed with my pearls. Bando! Bando! Start the factory at once! Are you deaf? Bando! Ah, nice of you to drop by. I have a big problem. Reuben wants me to get the factory running again. But that sounds great. Yeah, I'm all excited too. But I can't find my shovel anywhere. What am I supposed to do? Can you help me search? I've got a shovel for you. Really? That's great. Finally, I can start shoveling coal again. Beware, old world! Bando is back! And he has a new shovel with which he is going to out-shovel all his opponents! Hmm? What's the ruckus? Bando? Oh, of course. A factory. That was high time. I will have my pearls restored in number again soon. I only hope that Kalita doesn't wake up from the noise. <sighs> Keep calm, Reuben. As long as the Yakis stay on their side of the island, <sighs> there's nothing to fear. Just don't get nervous. Hmm. The factory is running again. But there's no sign of Kalita yet. Noise alone doesn't seem to be enough. Come on, Spot! Jump! Spot! Uh-oh! What did I do now? Spot! Oh, there's a cockwheel missing. No wonder the Well, let's have a go at it then. I say something is moving now, but there's something wrong with those cogwheels. Wow! I've made it!
Hallo. Ah, come on in, come on in. What's with all the candles? It is my attempt to maintain the equilibrium of the island. All things are intertwined. The candlelight keeps away the five yakis that live on this island. It is said that if they meet with the other five in the dark, they'll begin migrating. The other five? Yes, that's what's been told. Then they will cross the island together until they reach the pier where they will sing their woeful song. Their song would wake Kalida, they say, which would have terrible consequences. That's why I make sure the candles are not blown out by the wind. Do the candles prevent the Yakis from waking Kalida? Essentially, yes. Hmm. Would you mind leaving the candles alone? No. No? Oh, come on. It's important. We could all die. Only stagnation means death. Remember that? There's no balance without movement. Aw, oh, man. That's just Balderdash. I'm talking about a real threat. It is not Balderdash. It is rather one of nature's laws. No balance without movement. It's like in this chess game here. And how about I prove you wrong? I told you that's impossible. So, what are you going to prove? What are you playing? It's a puzzle. Oh, a puzzle. Maybe I can help you. I'm good at puzzles. What's the deal? Is it some kind of checkers? No, the problem is more of a philosophical nature. And it's instructive. The puzzle teaches us that it's impossible to create quintessential balance. All things must remain in motion. Oh yeah? We see about that. You may as well try, but it's no use. Okay, what do I have to do? The queens can move horizontally, vertically, and diagonally, like in a game of chess. For completion, they must each be positioned in such a fashion that they cannot take each other out. But don't bother. Equilibrium without movement. Such a thing is impossible. Well, let's have a try then. I think I've solved it. The queens can't take each other anymore. Indeed. That is remarkable. I wouldn't have thought it possible. You're not the first to underestimate me. You have given me a new and rather more demanding puzzle to solve, young man. Can we imagine something like stagnation-induced balance after all? I will have to reconsider my work upon this island. Does that mean you'll stop giving me mysterious speeches? First of all, I will refrain from lighting any more candles. Who am I to determine better than the wind when a light has shone long enough? No one. Sorry, that was just a slip of the tongue. Can I borrow that candle? Yes. Be my guest. Everyone needs a light to guide him through the dark. And it is quite dark now. I'm stressed out. Ah! 
I'm stressed out. Yeah, that's a good place to put the candle. And here we go, Spot. Oops! Hmm? What? Where? Who dares to disturb my well-deserved sleep? Can't you see that we're busy here? Why? What's going on? What's going on? One of my pearls has been stolen! It must have been that troublemaker, Mulekai. When I get hold of him, I'll turn him into dog food. You hear, Carrick? You'll have some fresh meat then. You look tired. Sleeping is my favorite pastime. It's a privilege for people who have accomplished everything. Unfortunately, I have to sleep at this table because my bed is squeaking terribly. But why do I bother to tell you all this? The thing that now keeps me from having my well-deserved nap is not the squeaking bed, and it's not the Yakis, the machinery in the factory, or my rumbling manservant either. No. It's an annoying child in a clown's costume who bursts into my office without having being asked and keeps talking and talking. Good grief! My head is about to explode with all this blather. I have to get to Corona. How can I leave this island? You can't. There's no connection to the mainland. We are completely self-sufficient. So I'm stuck here? Hmm. In that case, I hope you're good at other things. Besides looking stupid, we can't use a clown here, you know. And I haven't exactly been laughing my head off either. But I'm sure we'll find a way for you to make yourself useful tomorrow. I can't stay here. I have to prevent a disaster. If you really want to prevent a disaster, you'll shut up right now and let me sleep! Get it? I met a monk at the shore. Molokai? Mm, just ignore the old crackpot. Mm, I believe he thinks he's enlightened or something. I say he's not. Sneaks around everywhere lighting candles. Ha! <laughs> As if he'd try to show all the world what a dim light he is. Whatever. I let him live on the remote side of the island. Mm, he may as well. He's not disturbing anyone back there. And he keeps the Yakis away at least. What are Yakis? Annoying little creatures. Those flying rodents have kept me from sleeping more than once. You'd probably get along with them very well. <laughs> In fact, 
They look as foolish as you. Thank God they don't dare come to this side of the island most of the time. They dread the light, which unfortunately is more than can be said about you. The remote side of the island? Yes. We don't go there anymore. And the door has been out of order since the factory was stopped. You could try to find a way there. The more I think about it, the better the idea seems to be. You would get along perfectly on the other side of the island. With Molokai, with the Yakis, and all the other things that we don't want on this side. That's a cute pet you have there. What's its name? It doesn't happen to be, uh... Kalida? No. His name is Carrick. Nice name. I bet Carrick and Spot would get along very well. Can you do any tricks? Spot can change into the most diverse forms. Carrick can slay creatures in the most diverse ways. Oh, so we'd better not let them play together. In fact, Carrick is not here to play. He makes sure that no riffraff is roaming about while I'm asleep. I don't even like to think about someone messing with my pearls. See you later. Exactly. Just let me sleep in peace. Look here, Spot. I found no playmates for you. Huh? The Yaki seem to be hypnotized by the five little spots. Well, here we go then. Where did the Yakis go? The candlelight seems to have driven them away. Good night, Mom. Good night, Mom.
Look here, Spot. I found no playmates for you. Here we go again. had been an island. Finally, he had found Kalida. What happened? Am I dead? No, Sadwick. You are just sleeping. I know. You're not real. This is all nothing but a bad dream. I am more real than you think. We will meet. Very soon. Then, you will fulfill your destiny. We'll see about that. You still believe you can prevent it? But all you will achieve is destruction. Each of your actions brings you nearer to the end. That's not true. That's... that's all your fault. It will happen soon. The end is approaching. Wake up! 